Hi guys, uh, my name is Abhi Yashodran and you are watching my channel Dialysis Made Easy. So today we are going to discuss about how to use buyback in Fresenius 4008S machines. Hemodialysis requires two separate concentrates called acid concentrate or A part and bicarbonate concentrate or B part along with RO water for the preparation of dialysis during hemodialysis. So buyback is a sterile dry bicarbonate powder cartridge manufactured by Fresenius for the use in their machines. So it's a very useful and convenient substitute for traditional manually prepared bicarbonate solution. So buyback is available in India as 650 and 900 grams. So it can be useful in every Fresenius dialysis machines irrespective of the model. But please remember older Fresenius machines such as 4008B or 4008H or 4008s ARRT plus machine etc uses a different buyback with a circular connector so we will be focusing on newly designed buyback for 4008s next generation devices and buyback is easy to fix even with one hand and it contains a standard sodium bicarbonate concentration of 32 millimole per liter and a sodium concentration of 35 millimole per liter now the question becomes, how long will a buyback last? So to answer this question, I would like to remind you that the buyback consumption is directly proportional to the set dialysate flow rate and prescribed bicarbonate concentration in the dialysate. So this means buyback consumption will increase if you increase the dialysate flow rate and or the bicarbonate concentration in the dialysate. So in a 4008S machine, we can have three different dialysate flow rates ranging from 300 ml per minute to maximum of 800 ml per minute. So a 650 gram buyback will last up to 600 minutes at a dialysate flow rate of 300 ml per minute or up to 360 minutes at a flow rate of 500 ml per minute and up to a maximum of 225 minutes at a flow rate of 800 ml per minute. So similarly, a 900 gram buyback will last up to 800 minutes at a dialysate flow rate of 300 ml per minute or up to 480 minutes at a dialysate flow rate of 500 ml per minute and up to a maximum of 300 minutes at a dialysate flow rate of 800 ml per minute. So if you want to shift to buyback, please remember before shifting to buyback, you should calibrate the flow rates of your machines. So you might seek the help of a service engineer for this. And next, you should select the dilution ratio as either 1 plus 34 canister or 1 plus 44 X from the setup menu in the service mode. So in India, we are using 1 plus 34 canister dilution ratio as the standard dilution ratio or mixing ratio for buyback. So in this ratio, machine will consume 1 ml of A part, 1.225 ml of buyback concentrate and 32.775 ml of RO water. So another important thing you should remember is always use an acid concentrate or a part solution with a sodium concentration of 103 millimole per liter. So in this way, your machine will get a base sodium of 138 millimole per liter. That means 103 millimole from a part plus 35 millimole from B part. In a nutshell, I shall summarize the benefits of buyback as First, buyback contains 8.4% medical grade sodium bicarbonate solution purely intended for the use in hemodialysis. Since the buyback is a sterile bicarbonate powder cartridge, there won't be any bacterial proliferation. And buyback is mixed by the machine automatically, so there won't be any conductivity fluctuations during treatment. Open B part solution can containers usually allow the dissipation of carbon dioxide gas from the bicarbonate solution. So this will cause a reduction in calcium stability in the dialysate due to precipitation. So this is a common problem. Since the buyback is a closed airtight container, it will not allow the carbon dioxide gas to escape. And by this way, the calcium stability in the solution will be maintained. So buyback is made up of a lightweight polymer called polypropylene and hence it is eco-friendly. So buyback employs automatic mixing and thus avoids human error. So it is the use of buyback is less labor intensive in terms of lifting and transporting part B heavy canisters in the dialysis unit. So no spillage problems because you can drain the buyback automatically after dialysis treatment. 
so less space is required for the storage since by bag is in a powder form so no mechanical b part mixing machine is required because you are using by bag and it is mixed automatically so thank you so much for listening you can now leave your feedback in the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe have a nice day